History comes face to face with some of today's top junior scientists in Burghausen. This weekend we'll see members of the Technische Universität München's International Graduate School of Science and Engineering out and about in Burghausen in search of answers. Nothing connected with science for a change, but to do with team building and networking. Because that's precisely what the ICSA, the Graduate School of Munich's TU, is all about. Building bridges to researchers from other disciplines and putting their heads together to gain some fresh insights. Okay. For example, maybe you know, uh, one or there are some of the amazing buildings in Frankfurt. It was purely thanks to this team building that we managed to bring people from such different groups together. I think it's good to get to know one another under completely different circumstances than just as part of a day-to-day -day research routine. And that will be resumed the very next day, within the walls of the 800-year-old Reitenhaslach monastery nearby. The researchers are working on highly topical themes, where natural scientists and engineers are endeavoring to devise solutions for the benefit of our society. The ICSA focuses on four main aspects. Computational engineering, geodesy, energy and environmental technology, nanotechnology and new materials, as well as biotechnology and biomedical engineering. The project teams will present the results of their work at a total of four workshops, like the research chemist Dr. Monica Lopez-Garcia, for example. We want to coat bone implants with our peptides to improve bone growth and bonding. Inflammation and incorrect bonding are complications that repeatedly occur with bone implants. The integrins and peptides ensure that the implants are recognized by the osteoblasts, the bone-forming cells. This should greatly enhance the bonding process. The interdisciplinary exchange of ideas is a fundamental prerequisite for Monica Lopez Garcia's work. I find it very important important because then you have more general knowledge, not just in chemistry, but in natural science as a whole. Well, I think it's a very good thing. The music room of the monastery normally provides the setting for soft strains of music. But today everything is revolving around the rapid development of ever-increasing quantities of data, their acquisition and evaluation. Dr. Carsten Trinitis is in charge of two project teams that merge the fields of medicine and engineering sciences. Actually, I'm an electrical engineer, but um, I switched to computer science, so I'm somewhat in between. Mm -hmm. That's why we do the hardware web thing, not just the theoretical stuff, but the interface between electrical engineering and computer science. The researchers collaborate across numerous interfaces in the ICSA. One task for us is investigating the mechanical behavior of cells. It is only possible to gain an in-depth understanding in this field if cell biologists, biophysicists and machine manufacturers work hand in hand. This allows ideas for new forms of therapy to be derived from the research results. We made another project for um, in a Berlin city or for a Berlin site for uh, also a French competitor uh, or investor, uh, which asked us this can only be achieved via a close cooperation between natural scientists and engineers. The ICSA creates a common ground for the collective advancement of scientific ideas. What does the future of mankind look like at the end of our fossil fuel era? Is there a solution to safeguarding our energy needs in the long term? No single discipline can provide answers to these questions anymore. Nowadays, public buildings incur a large share of the energy costs. Petra Lidl, who has a diploma in architecture, wishes to devise holistic energy concepts. It is particularly important from the holistic point of view. I cannot approach a matter through the prism of architecture alone. I need the other disciplines as well, and they really have to work hand in hand, because it's only then that synergy effects come out. Because one thing is certain, ways of significantly reducing energy consumption worldwide can only be found through a common effort. 
I think it's great that we are here in Burghausen. You can really feel the atmosphere here from these hallowed halls, blending with the spirit of the future. I like coming here. I was here last year and, quite simply, it's always possible to get to know people from other disciplines, to exchange views and ideas, and to enjoy a glass of wine together. That's all part of it. The goal of the scientists belonging to the International Graduate School of Science and Engineering is to work on finding viable answers to complex questions, collectively. Thank you.